So Louisa here is presenting with a postural pattern that is super common and can contribute to back pain, back dysfunction, uh, weak glutes, weak core, pelvic floor dysfunction, and it is so simple, just one little shift that she's making. As I'm pushing down on her shoulders, how do you feel? Not very stable. Not very stable, right? This is how she's presenting to her life all day long. And no wonder she's got some back compression, back pain, some core and pelvic floor stuff that might be really bothering her. So we're gonna take her pelvis. We see that her hips are really forward of her feet. We're gonna align the side of her hips up just right over her ankles. So align from her hips to her knees to her ankles. It's a simple shift backwards. Let's get you backwards. How does it, it might feel really strange and weird and awkward. How does that feel? I feel like I'm tipping forward. She feels like she's tipping forward. However, if you stand normally like this, we see her butt is back behind her. Her thighs are in a straight line. Her back is no longer compressing. And the most important thing is, how does this feel? <laughs> really strong. <laughs> really strong, right? She's really stable here. As opposed to, look again, watch this, go. Whee! Her hips go forward, her butt gets flat. Everything tightens in her pelvic floor. She's got this shortening in here, this lengthening in here. It's really not ideal. We gotta get, bring her back, 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 back into a much more aligned, stable place. The back muscles get to release, the pelvic floor is ready, the core is optimized. This is really awesome. This is where she wants to be, well, where she should be.